when you put your foot on the dock, you could look down into the water. And I got very nervous. We had to draw back. We didn't, I can remember what it, it took a long time to get to the boat, but I could see the boat. The boat was a big black and white boat. Puerto Limón, Costa Rica. El imperio del banano empezó aquí, y aquí sobrevive la historia de la Black Star Line, una aventura naviera impulsada por Marcus Garvey. En los años 20, los bananos que viajaban por esta ruta llevaban consigo el sueño de los inmigrantes negros, volver a la tierra prometida. Marcus Garvey came to Limón, and He wonder why the Negroes can't get together and one day form something. So he went around with a dream, a big dream. He had a dream that the Negroes could all work together, make their own steamship line, have their own factories, and go back to Africa one day. Marcos Garvey comenzó aquí en Costa Rica con el idea. Marcos Garvey vino a Limón tres veces, incluso trabajó en las fincas bananeras. Se hizo como periodista también. Es que era muy inteligente. Yes, boy, this is the story of Marcos Garvey. Yes. He worked with the United Fruit Company as a timekeeper from one farm to the other, from one place to the other, and because he was fairly educated. So they, he had lots of followers here. Marcus Garvey fue checador de horarios, el puesto más alto al que podía aspirar un empleado negro. Se involucró en los conflictos laborales de la época. Fue activista político y sindical. He saw the way the Negroes were treated, and knowing that slavery was abolished, that the people supposed to be treated better. Yes, William, this is history of Marcos. En esa época, Limón tenía todas las características de un enclave: la aristocracia bananera por un lado, los inmigrantes afrocaribeños por el otro sin más opción que trabajar en las plantaciones y aspirar a cambiar el curso de las cosas, contemplando los vapores de la gran flota blanca de la United Fruit. You want me to tell you how it happens to me? Our black man was getting free. They wanted no to celebrate. The sea, in some sense, is the connection, because um, my father was born in St. Anne's Bay. And um, that's a town right on the north coast of Jamaica. And he was born in the hills. So he used to spend a lot of time looking out at the sea. Just as we are here, you can, you know, visualize the connection to the rest of the world. En las casas, en todas las casas, habían dos fotos que no faltaban en la pared. Y era la reina Victoria, los reyes de Inglaterra y Marcos Gavi. Y este hombre siempre andaba vestido como un coronel. To me, as a child, um, he was a large man. 
but as I grew up, um, I, I realized that his physical stature was not, was not big. He was about five feet four. He was somewhat heavyset. And um, uh, the, the, the major characteristic about him was his presence. Um, he, he was very confident, he was very intelligent, very courageous. And um, he had penetrating understanding. I just can't remember everything. But you could sing, if you sing it. I try to, but it's not as correct as when I used to do it when I was a, a, a boy, 22 years, 26 years old. Ethiopia, the land I have for fathers, the land where the God loves to be. The dark clouds of night, southern gardens, Garvey se asentó en Harlem y desde ahí propuso conquistar el mundo de la navegación. Universal Negro Improvement Association was founded in 1919 by the Honorable Marcus Garvey. With in excess of six million people. I mean, this is the largest mass movement of African people, um, certainly in, in, in this uh, century. Se valía de un periódico, el Negro World, pero su principal vehículo de propaganda fue una línea de vapores tripulada por marineros negros y sostenida por una raza dispersa. The Black Star Line Corporation presents every black man, woman and child the opportunity to climb the great ladder of industrial and commercial success. Nothing at all no. about the steamship company because we were children. Mm, yes, you understand? Young, and all the elderly, all my parents and, and other people yeah. that was there, all of them died out. So we could give no nothing. explanation of no, the ship. Because we can give nothing like that. Those are gone before well. Excuse me. Excuse me. Aquí opera la Black Star Line? No. The Black Star Line no existe. Se hundió, pero siempre queda la asociación. Por alguna extraña razón, el vínculo de Marcus Garvey con Limón sigue siendo muy fuerte. Un edificio anclado en el centro de la ciudad que los pobladores llaman Black Star Line. Yo recordar que de chiquillo, cuando me contaron que Marcus Garvey vivía aquí en Limón, por ciertamente 400 metros de aquí, y trabajaba en el muelle banana y seguro ahí tuvo la visión de la unidad, unidad de los negros. Lo que escuché al respecto de los barcos, de que venían, su finalidad era de llevar de nuevo a los negros hacia África. Pero por una u otra razón, o desgracia, el barco tuvo este, traspiés en alta mar. En sí no sé mucho de los barcos, nada más escuché el nombre de Black Star Line y para muchos de nosotros al mencionar ese nombre pensamos en este edificio.
everybody start saying from door to door, it's a boat from the Black Star Line. There's a boat from the Black Star Line. And everybody that heard ran out and started to run toward the dock to see the boat. Todos los días, la Bahía de Limón amanece rodeada de cruceros y buques mercantes, esperando tocar puerto. ¿Por qué entonces tanta excitación alrededor de un barco? ¿Qué lo hacía diferente a los demás? Ey Mosol nació en Jamaica, envejece en Limón. Es un viejo seguidor de Marcus Garvey. Ah, like, I can tell you about it. When the ship came in, all the colored people, not only in Lemon, but from the land towns, came, came down, and we had the docks open, the gates were open, and the place was crowded. All the colored people went down to see the ship. So they started the Black Star Line, where they had a couple of ships. Two of them came here to Costa Rica, when, and the folks, of course, was very much uh, interested in the ships, and uh, they started to sell shares for the ship. Estaba vendiendo unos, um, ¿cómo se llama? Acciones. Si no me acuerdo el año que vinieron que vino uno o dos barcos, así, no me acuerdo el año. ¿Pero qué le contaba su mamá? Pues la, el, todo el mundo, todo negro quería subir ahí al barco. Bueno, it was like any other ship, any like the United Fruit Company ship, but I know they had the ship painted black. <laughs> el edificio de la United Fruit está ocupado por compañías de estiva y agencias marítimas. Alguna vez fue el motor del imperio del banano. Hoy es el recuerdo de una bonanza que se esfumó de limón poco antes de la Segunda Guerra Mundial. En su labor de espionaje, la United Fruit fue el mejor historiador de la época. La correspondencia con las divisiones del sur estuvo guardada en esta caja fuerte. La documentación desapareció de aquí. Lo poco que logró recuperarse revela que el movimiento de Garvey recaudaba dos mil dólares mensuales no, en la provincia de Limón. Give me some chance, I'll look, I'll look around for it. En la sastrería de Barton, algunos libros tenían años de no ser abiertos. Perdidas por ahí, aparecieron las memorias de Hugh Mulsack, un capitán de la Black Star Line. In every port, we were afforded the welcome of conquering heroes. There was no cargo to be loaded or discharged. The Yardmouth was simply being used as a propaganda device for the recruitment of new members. Mulsak fue segundo de a bordo en el Yardmouth, un viejo barco algodonero sobreviviente de la Primera Guerra Mundial. Fue rebautizado con el nombre de Frederick Douglass. From the time the talk get on the street, all black people was feeling nice. They wanted no to celebrate the day of the great man Marcos Giave. Marcos Giave is a great La compañía bananera trató de impedir el atraco del Douglas por temor a un alzamiento. Meses antes, había prohibido la circulación del Negro World. When I saw the ship, I was eight years old. 1920, I was just four years old. And it, it couldn't be. It couldn't be. It's not. There's two ships came to Port de Mon, the Frederick Douglass first, and another ship. I'll try to get the name of the ship that came in 1924, Florida. ¿Cuándo vino esos barcos? Eh, bueno, uno es en el año 1920. A 1920 ya no tengo esa información, lo lamento mucho porque está fuera de, 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 del control nuestro. Han habido varios barcos hundidos aquí, cuyos cascos han estado ahí, eh, a la orilla del puerto cercano donde está el polideportivo construido. Eh, de esas naves, eh, 
corren rumores, no hay a ciencia cierta si se sabe si pertenecieron o no a la compañía naviera de Marcos Garbi. I'm African. I was brought here. Now, I play music to the sea and think about boats. That boat. Somebody sent me here because I am looking for the memory of Marcus Garvey. And somebody tell me that ships are from the Black Star Line. Well, you know, I've talked to many people in Lamont too. And Sometimes they have a very strange way of telling you the answer that you want. And looking at that boat, it's almost the complete story of Marcus Garvey. The boats a long time ago were contained all the memories and all the technology of a people. Boats moved people from one place to another in the Nile. This They help discover a civilization. Egyptians talk about boats that carry the sun. And Marcus Garvey talked about boats carrying people back to a place where they were taken from. And so Africa is everywhere African people are. And this is, this is a realization perhaps in Le Monde where Marcus Garvey came to visit has been forgotten. Es curioso que 80 años después de haber iniciado su odisea política y naval, el hijo de Marcus Garvey llegue al punto de partida de su padre y se encuentre con este edificio, Liberty Hall, UNAE. Black Star Line. La gente prefiere llamarlo Blacks. Un barbero custodia el edificio desde hace 50 años. Alfred King. King y 14 oficiales han cuidado el vestigio de una aventura que la mayoría ha olvidado. Esta es la parte visible de la historia, la que se mantiene a flote, la que todos celebran. Su fundador deambula en las paredes. From the days of Marcos Garvey, who took the Negroes from slavery, or from the time the Negroes get free, they say to hell with Marcos Garvey. Oh boy, so name. Oh yeah. El Blacks es el pulso de la ciudad. Todo pasa por aquí. Bodas, bautizos, graduaciones, funerales y concursos, pasiones políticas y amorosas. Alfred King es ante todo un hombre de veladas. Barbero graduado en Brooklyn, promotor de los carnavales, preside la variante local del movimiento de Garde. Y nos dijeron que uno quería vender la asociación. Y yo y Mr. Sinclair y otros jóvenes entró a calmarlos. El presidente ahí cerraba las puertas a la gente. Se puso como dictador. Tuvimos que pelearlo para entrar ahí. Y ahí empezamos. 
cosas culturales, cosas que, que podemos hacer por los miembros, ayudarles y a enterrarlos cuando se mueren. Varias veces hay entierro y no hay plata. Yo tengo que asu asumir todo. Entre los Para Vernon Sinclair, plata, el suyo es otro tipo de arte. Pero este es un arte. Sinclair es el vicepresidente del UNAE, una vocación racial que heredó de sus padres. Ay, ay, ay. Estoy clavado hasta que estoy resentido ahora con mi raza, con mi raza. Peor con la juventud. Y hay pues que no asisten, no contribuyen con el caos. Ahora solo es bailar ellos, bailar, nada más. Y dígame, ¿cuál es esa causa? One God. One Him. One Destiny. En 1920, Marcus Garvey se proclamó presidente provisional de África. Which essentially was a government in exile to rebuild Africa and African nations. You said, where are the men of bigger fears? Where's the African government? Where's the navy, the army, uh, statesmen, uh, etc.? Um, you know, uh, um, where it, where's their home that they can produce for themselves, etc.? And he felt that it was his destiny then. To, um, to help to rebuild that. 25.000 delegados de América, África y el Caribe se reunieron en Harlem para abogar por los derechos civiles de 400 millones de negros. La consigna fue, los derechos no se piden, se toman. One of Marcos government's take when you speak of the back to Africa, when he could proclaim himself president of Africa, of setting up himself, well, he didn't set himself up, he was voted as provisional president of Africa, is not some sort of act of buffoonery. He was president general of the Universal Negro Improvement Association and of the African Communities League. And he was provisional president of Africa. That was the title that he had. And Africa is a great big contin continent. Garvey incorporó un cuerpo de legionarios la Legión Universal Africana, y uno de enfermeras, la Cruz Negra, todo con la idea de contribuir a la liberación africana y fundar una colonia en Liberia. That was the plan, that all the Negroes would go back to Africa and the Black Cross nurses were nurses prepared for any emergency. But they never did go to Africa. And they never did serve here. Here, they were only prepared. Bueno, la causa era pa, para... ¿Cómo le digo? Un crecimiento de la, la, de la raza. Por un crecimiento de la raza. Y es igual a igual. Why you but now we all are free. And then we'll spell out together, Marcos Javi, forever. Gio, Gio, Gio. Thomas Erskine no había vuelto a estos talleres en años. Erskine entregó su vida al ferrocarril y al movimiento de Marcus Garvey, donde empezó como Boy Scout. I had belonged to the Cubs group. I grew, grew in the Cubs. Cubs group. But I get, get to second, the second trip. After that, I go to the King's Coat, they call them. What was the function? Drilling and practicing with, uh, with wooden rifles. 
also make me in the charges and other things. Bandera, himno y un conjunto de símbolos aún dan vueltas en el inconsciente, en los armarios y en los desfiles del Día del Negro. We will never get this may if the devil is in the way. We are traveling on to Ethiopia land. Up, you mighty race. Fue la frase que movió al mundo entero. Marcus Garvey va a ser el hombre que decide meterse a la historia africana. Usted sabe que la historia es, es como el hilo conductor. Es la, la que nos hace volver a ver hacia atrás con dignidad o nos hace volver a ver hacia atrás con, con, con vergüenza. So Garvey's dream helped to stimulate the people and helped to stimulate the Negro's race to give respect to the race. Because coming down from those days, you'll find that the history of Negroes is not just a, a little history. En Limón, la historia tiene un tiempo biológico. Desaparece con los protagonistas. Lo mismo ocurre con los grupos que se supone deberían conservar la historia. Todo el funcionamiento del, del Blacks um, ha girado en torno a una especie de, de secreto institucional o qué sé yo, una sociedad cerrada en donde las personas no ingresan porque los líderes, los bueno, líderes y los miembros activos actuales creen que hay un secreto que tienen que esconder al cual la gente nueva no tiene acceso. De una u otra forma todos tenemos que ver algo con el Black Star Line. Un lugar creado para la gente caribeña que venía a la Jamaica en sus tiempos Impulsado por el señor Marcus Garvey. Eso es del Black Star Line. De la no. línea también. De nosotros los limonenses. Una cultura que llegamos de los jamaiquinos. Y, digamos es como un mall primitivo. Lo que más intriga es la fidelidad de estos personajes al lugar, al UNAE, a lo que representó alguna vez. Año con año, repiten el mismo ceremonial. Son los custodios de un arca que extravió el rumbo, los depositarios de una idea, los que a su modo, preservan el legado del líder jamaiquino desde un ángulo que los demás no logran entender. Of a speech by our leader, Honorable Marcus Garvey, before he died. En este núcleo microscópico sobrevive la utopía que movilizó a millones de personas. King y sus 14 oficiales siguen sus propias motivaciones. It was founded and preserved to remain. Because I am black. 
and I want to see my black people exist. Marcus Garvey leaved it here for us, so we are standing on it and we will stand until we die. All the black people in Lemon are right down. We once were standing on our legs here, but not again. The boat blew, came early in the morning. Most of the people stayed on the docks looking on the boat. The boat was very beautiful. Everybody was very excited. Uh, my grandmother couldn't run so fast because I was afraid of the boards. The two boards in the dock don't be so close together so you could look down into the water and I was very afraid. We are walking here now. What I can explain tell you, you have two men they are taking the both of us photo. What's that? Taking photo with I and you. That photo is television. En 1921, Garvey emprendió una gira por el Caribe para cumplir su máximo anhelo, comprar un transatlántico, el barco madre, el que debía transportar los colonos al África. Garvey provocó manifestaciones de euforia en Cuba, Jamaica, Panamá, Costa Rica y una intensa movilización del Departamento de Estado norteamericano. In the year of 1921, Marcos was making plans to take back home. Are you keeping? Take back home all of the okay. black men. Take them home back to Africa. Where we lived when I was. Profesor de inglés y música. Sylvester Cunningham ha tocado en todas las iglesias de Lima. Es el miembro más antiguo del movimiento de Garvey. And you. You live the same house in the same house. This house, this house. We lived in the same house. Oh. Okay. And uh, I remember that Marcus Garvey lived for a couple of weeks in the center room on top. Now I understand that he, uh, my dad spoke at the stadium over here. Yeah. He just walked across. Yeah. Marcus Garvey was wor a worker for the United Fruit Company. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he knew the ups and downs yes. of, of the people. Yes. And lots of people knew him. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. it was a happy reunion. Mm -hmm. Mr. Cunningham was telling me yes, about his not so bad, like when he was a little boy of six. I was a little girl. And uh, guy. Marcus Garvey came in 1921. Yes, yes. You was at what age? I was a little girl, guy. Yes. When when was that? When at, did the, you? at the UNA. That's right. But yes. when was that? What year? I couldn't remember now. What okay. You know how old I am now? 89. 89? <laughs> Mr. Cunningham, what's your first name, sir? Benjamin Sylvester. Ah, good British man. Mine is Julius Winston. <laughs> you are what? I'm Julius Winston. My brother is Winston Dooley. <laughs> the English like those big names, you know. Marcus Garvey estaba en el apogeo de su carrera y en el principio del fin. En Estados Unidos, el gobierno inició una persecución en su contra. En Costa Rica, la United Fruit lo recibió como un estadista. 
Yeah, every nigga was out there. En 1921, cuenta mi abuelita, ¿verdad? Que hubo tantísima gente en esa plaza pública que me acuerdo muy bien que ellos lo, lo compararon, usaron el símil de que había más gente que en la arena del mar. Que nunca antes nadie había logrado reunir tantísima gente en Limón que cuando vino Marcos Gavi. That it was a vast conflagration of people who came along just to see Marcos Gavi. La compañía bananera siguió desde este edificio los pormenores de la visita. La gerencia pretendía congraciarse con los trabajadores en momentos de intensa agitación laboral. Los escenarios de la época hoy están vacíos. Según reportes de la United Fruit, Garvey recaudó más de 50 mil dólares en tres días. Un impresionante esfuerzo de los peones bananeros por ayudar a comprar el barco madre. stood for a long time outside looking on the boat everybody talking and sometime after some men came off of the boat and started to march up and everybody marching behind them to hear what they say the message was that this was one of the boats that would take us back to Africa. That boat, when it began, had a very bright future. Came from a place that was advanced in its all its technology. But something happened. Something the weather changed when man or machine didn't expect it, and it ended up there. Maybe just like the dreams of Marcus Garvey ended up there. But we're here now, and we're talking about the memory of Marcus Garvey. And the people that Marcus Garvey was talking to were, are, pretty much in the same place they were then. But something happened in the weather. Something changed, and the boat sank. The plans were very good. But Marcus Garvey? He wanted to, to do everything at one time. And the steamship company, the shares were sold, the bar ships. But as the Spaniards, I was saying, Zapater, as with Zapatos, no? He didn't know anything about the ship. <clears throat> he didn't know anything about the, the value at the time. But uh, the company that sold him the ships just pulled off a trick on him and sold him. Most of them was in bad condition. The FBI and um, perverted people like J. Edgar Hoover um, had an interest in destroying the Garvey movement. And um, there was documentation from as far back as 1919 when there was an internal memo by J. Edgar Hoover saying that um, there's a Negro agitator up in Harlem and we have to get him. This man is like a black man growing too fast. 
And that's why he put a wedge between the people and then the association started the funk. El cerco iba cerrándose. A su retorno a Estados Unidos, el gobierno trató de impedirle la entrada al país y emprendió maniobras para frustrar la compra del transatlántico. My father bought three shares, one for my brother, one for my sister and one for myself. But the, the ships disappear off the water, so those shares are no good again. <laughs> but yeah, they have any paper right now to show up no that. record you to see? show up those things. So, so everybody fail after the ship fail, everybody get broke hearted. Because you never get back no team five cents. That's what happened. And then after the vexation with everybody, nobody speak about it again. Carvey fue arrestado en enero de 1922, acusado de vender pasajes en una nave inexistente. Advance, advance, the big story, let us free, so be free. Advance, to meet the fool, advance. To meet the poor with the mind of the red, the black and the green. Aún hay cosas que no concuerdan en esta historia. And another ship that came in 1924. Si Marcus Garvey fue arrestado dos años antes, si la Black Star Line quebró casi al mismo tiempo, ¿de dónde sale ese otro barco que los viejos pobladores aseguran haber visto? One. So many, but I could remember one. The first one because I was in town, which was General G. W. Cortez. You saw that ship? Yes, I, I was a girl, guys. She was in the Black Star Line. Yes, what a little girl, but my mother and father, they put me there. I was a girl's guide at the time. Mrs. Sarah, do I you love... remember the chimney of the, of the ship? Yes, it was three colors, red, The black and green. It was a modern ship. Well, it was built, they said, in Germany. ¿Dónde navegan los barcos de la Black Star Line? ¿Será que la memoria de Limón inventa más barcos? de los que realmente existieron? Nos está ingresando en estos momentos información en el Blackstar Line, dice Blackstar Line Stand Ship Company eh, se está rifando a todas aquellas personas que lleguen con acciones de 5 dólares que compraban los abuelitos para aquel entonces a contribuir a adquirir barcos de la legendaria compañía navillera fundada por Marco Garvey. Mr. Cunningham buscó en sus papeles y recuerdos de familia. Las acciones que su padre compró desaparecieron como desaparece todo en este puerto. I had one for one million dollars. Where did you find it? 
in my wardrobe. I hide it in my wardrobe. <laughs> For how many years? Entre los años cuesta mucho conservar estas cosas. Y esto es del año 21, 18 de abril del 21. Usted sabe que esta fecha fue cuando Marcus Garvey vino a Limón. Bueno, no podría decirle algo de esas historias porque hay muy poco conocido de esas historias. This boat, the boat here, where to take us, take us and carry we where they want to the nations. So the nations are also look after me, help me, you know, in anything I want. They ask me, and, and so that's how Marcus Garvey explained it, uh, you know, that uh, could get help from them. Uh, but I never expect that. <laughs> I never, because they told us that they, this paper is not good. It have no use, throw it away. But I say I'm not throwing away my own. Because never can tell one day. Everybody talk about that one day the boat would come back and they would talk more about going back to Africa. Something happened, we don't know. The ships were lost. They never returned. Ah. I cannot walk and talk. I cannot walk and talk. You seem nervous? I'm still nervous. Don't be nervous. Mm -hmm. That way, it does something psychological. That's because they... It's better floor now than when it... Than formerly. Than formerly. Mm -hmm. My grandmother brought me to see the ship. Well, yeah. I didn't come on the dock to see the ship. But I stayed on the hills and I saw it. What was the name of that ship? It's just Black Star Line because they had just about two ships. But uh, it was a good sized ship. It seems like I'm seeing better than you. But you are hearing yes. better than I. Mm -hmm. 